Welcome back to my channel Oscar Overlander. This week I'd like to give you a quick update on my build, on the habitat and also on the subframe. <laughs> so this week um, I honestly I could not do much because I still have no 252. I'm still waiting. Suppliers don't have anything. I have it on order, but I can't, can't get my hands on it. So it's kind of frustrating. You know, um, everything stalls a little bit. What I have done is basically, you can see here, I have the, uh, the bottom part ready. It's done. So I finally have now um, flat grinded all these welding beads in the corners. You know, like these ones. Yeah, so that I have a flat surface to glue on these bottom plates. And I cleaned up all the floor trusses and painted them with the same primer as I did the walls and the roof. So this is now uh, basically rinse and repeat. You know, I have uh, glued down already the very first panel at the bottom. You know, this one is closed. But I have also activated and primed every edge all the way around ahead of time. They were all prepared, you know, and now panel by panel, I'm doing the sheets, you know, like this one is ready, primed already. This one is just sanded. Now I'm activating and prime. Last one. If you, in case you wonder the heater, you know, we have uh, temperatures around uh, freezing level. So it's zero, oh, maybe one degree Celsius. I have done the uh, uh, airlines on my truck. They're all com completed. Uh, it just need to be painted now. I cleaned it as good as I could, you know, like I'd have to go over it with a wire brush again. So, and if it is painted, then I can put my subframe on, which I have painted now. So you can see it here. paid most attention on the outside here because it's not visible on the inside you know the outside looks pretty good I decided against the flat paint because uh, when I applied it it looked just too flat it was kind of yeah way too flat so that's why I uh, used the chassis saver which I will use on the chassis <laughs> you know uh, and it looks pretty good I'm happy with the outcome it does it is not so shiny anymore i like it uh, black better so because of this that i can't do much on the truck or on the habitat right now uh my wife and i we decided to go to the early bird rv show uh which took place in abbotsford british columbia and uh it's, a, it's an rv show you know um you can't expect any overlander vehicles or or expedition trucks or anything it's not really an off-roading uh, or overlanding show. I will show you some things we discovered there and uh, good and bad, just some impressions. Yeah. So th the first thing I want to show you is a kind of off-road capable uh, trailer. It's, it was 12 feet long, not very big, actually pretty small, 12 feet, you know, but the thought process and, and, and the way it was made was kind of interesting. So let's watch that. It's called Tiger Moth. A tiny trailer, 12 feet uh, trailer. Well, it seems off-road capable. You know. On this, uh, you can see here all these ordinary travel trailers. Uh, but those small ones, they, are, they have more thought process in it. You know? They're compact and well thought through wow. you see here the water supply right there hung on the back you know you see a grillette a long um, uh, drawer system 
the whole which builds your outdoor kitchen basically yeah well that team seems really uh, to be able to go off-roading you have a storage rack here you can tie things down you have a, a bike rack on there at the top these little things they impress me more than these luxurious big ones also box screens and blinds on it nice. you got your gas compartment here Nice, yeah. So this was now a trailer. Now let's have a look at the, at a very small, decent size, let's say, camper. It's called uh, Cirrus. Have a look. So this is by far, this is a pickup camper, but by far the best one I've seen so far because they have uh, nice lines in there. And when you push it down, this is the box screen. Mm -hmm. They got that solar on the roof. You have the MPPT right there, and the solar cable is coming from the roof. The Domatic AC on the roof as well. And a pretty cool solution for the toilet. The kitchen is okay, you know, for this size of a pickup camper. Microwave, control panel, storage, spice rack. But this is a kind of cool feature. Here's the you take the cushion away. You flip that up, and ta-da! You got your toilet here. Pretty cool solution for so such a small space. Very cool. You know, and then a nice uh, isotherm fridge. Decent size for this. Uh, Camping rig, even a little tiny refrigerator box here. Uh, freezer box, sorry. Cool, very cool. Oh, magnetic is holding up. Look, nice. You got a fan up here, you can open it because of the surprising bowl down here. <laughs> swivel the, swivel the, the, the table wherever you need them. Pretty cool. Storage on the side of the storage boxes on each side too. Cup holders, lights. This even is a bend, kind of curved um, um, a back screen and uh, and blind. Very good. I'm impressed about the um, about the little de details here. Push locks in the, in those. Um, overhead cabinets. Like it. Like it. Oh, there's the uh, there's the heater in there. Nice. This one is uh, better thought through than all these bigger ones with couches and uh, double fridges and all sorts of stuff. But here's more thinking behind it. Also a nice uh, utilized door panel. With multiple storage pockets in there. Down there. Here is the cassette for the cassette toilet in it. The Tedford. In there. There is the cassette toilet. Right. Sewer outlet down there. Nice, I'm impressed. So, and uh, now, now we will go to the next one, you know, uh, but before we get to the big monster dude, you know, uh, let's have a look at a, I think in the sign was 43 written, but it's a 42 foot long fifth wheel. 
you know that that, that was a monster big thing and honestly i do not know where you go with this type of stuff you know if you know where to go preferably with such a long rig you know uh let me know in the comments i would not know what to do with that thing so here we're looking at the fifth wheel this one has already a pretty thick wall it's a three inch wall right there. 42 feet long my 18 feet is kind of pathetic compared to that one. <laughs> With two awnings. Uh, God knows how many slide outs. I haven't been on the other side. Monster size bathroom. Double sink. Huge mirror. Shower. With a seat. You can fold that seat up, you know, but that's actually a really great idea. And then here is the bedroom, also a slide out, wardrobe, some entertainment, I prefer the socks changing bench, well, that's kind of crazy, we're right now in the loft, yeah, just to show you, the kitchen is down there, so there is a seating area, three sides couch, I'm sitting on one. And there's a fireplace and uh, so these these couches here, oh, these are recliners. And they can be pulled out for additional bed space. Well, we got a kitchen island. And a wine rack, full, full burner stove, gas stove. Yeah, that one is a real, it's an apartment size. Here's the bathroom, full laundry. Sink. Yeah, that was quite impressive, eh? 42 feet. There's a grill, a gas grill. Tiny fridge beside it. There's an outdoor kitchen. Fridge is cool, but the grill, I don't know. There you go. It's a grill. I'm not really into bashing things, but a hundred thousand list price, and then you get this right there. This really last but not least, let's check out that big freight liner. That was a kind of public magnet, you know, everybody, everybody want to have a look, you know, want to get in there and check it out. You know, that was pretty crowded. It wasn't easy to film in there. I do not want to hold the camera into the faces of the people. So it was a little difficult. So just that you know, you know, but uh, yeah, have a look. That thing is big and impressive. Well, it seems like we are lucky. We found a big guy. Freightliner, uh, not an off-road capable truck, just an RV, uh, yeah, let's go inside. Let's see what that has to offer. All your food stairs have to get from the bottom. So to the left we have the bedroom which has on both sides a slide out to extend the bedroom to the outside and here is the wardrobe also a slide out and in the back is the laundry full-size laundry toilet 
Non-use space. Hello. Decent shower. Good. Yeah, that thing is a magnet. So then we have the entertainment part. Double door fridge. Yeah, it's like a home fridge and a freezer down below. security on it so that they don't open during driving so, more storage up there above the driving cab Navi and the automator pretty modern already Mm -hmm. It's insane. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. And the sofa for the entertainment right across. Right there. Mm -hmm. And it looks like that Rick is coming with a free hot top. Inflatable hot top. Yeah, that's by far the most interesting rig on this show. You know, um, but honestly, for eight hundred thousand, you know, single pane glass, you know, flimsy hardware like this. I saw the same hardware in a Coleman trailer. So this is it uh, from that RV show. You know, we really didn't expect much from uh, from it uh, from the beginning. You know, we just want to check uh, check out some entrances, like uh, regarding the stairs. You know, uh, for our build. Uh, and also, um, we was looking specifically for the polsteries, you know, like uh, to get some ideas uh, what our polster should look like, you know, our cushion or the, the, uh, on the seating area, on the dining area. We was hoping to find some ideas there, but overall we saw so many, but um, nothing what we really liked, you know, especially, you know, some of these... Uh, backrest uh, cushions they was just cut straight you know who's doing that such thing you know like i mean you're supposed to have a little slanted kind of shape you know you can lean against it so you have some support for your back but i i, I don't know I mean, so this is it for this week uh, from me you know uh next week i really hope i'm pretty sure i have my my uh, uh glue by then you know i will have cladded this habitat I'm looking forward to show you the whole thing cladded, you know, and then uh, pretty shortly start with the insulation. And uh, therefore, I'd like to see you next Friday. Oh.